middle of the road guy fighting with the traffic. Welcome back to my, oh, is he showing a bit of belly now? <laughs> morning viewers, morning, morning, morning. We're in Bury. Bury is one of the satellite towns. Bolton to the left, Rochdale to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle in Bury. I'm gonna bury the bad news. First of all, we're on Heat and Fold going towards Nelson Street. There's been a very, very, very big explosion inside a terraced house and a lady in her 70s has been rushed to hospital. That is the latest that I know. Before I get to the site, God, it's a bit grim up north, guys, a bit grim. North-South divide showing its ugly face here. We're gonna go and see what the police response is like. See the media circus, if any. Hopefully not get shouted at by too many grannies because they get very, very uh, territorial about their photons. But uh, as you can see, we're on Bri Briarley Street. It's just a normal suburban residential area with the uh, terraces, slightly more, more modern terraces, Victorian terraces. Ambulance arriving behind me. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna have a good look. This guy here looks like the bomb squad. Hey mate, you okay? Hi mate, you all right? Very well. So uh, we're going to investigate. I'm thinking it's probably a suspected gas leak or something. Uh, it's a gas explosion. Gas explosion, confirmed. Gas explosion. So what it is, and anyone can do this, you forget to turn off the hob, or there's a leak in the boiler, and very slowly your house fills up with a mixture of uh, methane, butane, propane, whatever one they use. Mixes with the oxygen in the air and then you, you put the kettle on or something creates a spark and boom. And they can be quite potent, these explosions, like a fuel air bomb, like a, a thermobaric weapon, but using gas instead of gasoline. There's the guy that confirmed it. He looks like some sort of police officer. Gas. Oh man, I think they should fire the graphic designer. That's, uh, they didn't use a high enough resolution image to blow up there. They're not very safe, they're very safe. Bury, bury. Morning. Electricity Northwest. Okay. We're getting there. Morning. Morning. It's Cadence Your Gas Network. The gas man are being gassy. Uh, they unfortunately keep the public quite far away from these things, but uh, we'll try and get a, a good look. This isn't even the main street. This is not Nelson Street coming further ahead. Look at how turgid these bad boys are. Oh, full, 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 full turgid pipes. Slight trip hazard. Hope the grannies know not to. So I think they're gonna be evacuating some of these houses. Evacuate. Morning. Morning. Oh, they should clear up some of their raspberry bushes here. Look at that. So, uh, We're getting there. They've had to evacuate a local primary school. I don't know if they've gone back because they didn't know what was going on. Media, media, media. I'll get a, bit, a different angle, guys, but we'll look at this one first. Come around here. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. Morning. All right. Oh my goodness! Oh my God! The entire structure is gone, and the house to the right and to the left is completely messed up. Still smoldering quite, quite aggressively. Oh 
Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get told off. No worries, thank you. Anyway, it was worth it for the shot. You saw it for a second. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to go in the news now, get you guys the very latest. Okay, guys. Oh my shit and corruption. Look at that. Oh my god. Wow. Jesus. Awful. That's a very powerful explosion. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, am I in the area? Sorry, man. I didn't realize. How far? But can I? Few, right. The, oh, that's over the top. No, but I gotta make my money as well, man. Oh my God! Sorry, I'll leave. But I just gotta get that Uber. Whoa! Can I? Quick Uber, and then I'll go. I'll go. I'll, I promise you, I'll go. I'll go back. No, you guys are cool. Thank you. That's all I needed. Thank you. Cheers. Look at that. That Uber, I assume, was parked on the side and he got the... He got the um, shrapnel. You just, it's just not used to seeing these images outside the Ukraine or stuff like that. War zones. No worries. Cool. I'll go down there. I'll stop filming now. Anyway. I know, yeah. It's true. There's a cameraman to my right getting some shots. This quick one, there he is. And uh, I was just telling him there's a better angle, but you will get shouted at because it's like a fire cordon. But the shrapnel damage to the Uber, there's an Uber parked right there as well, all smashed up like it's been in a war. Um, it's quite impressive. So I hope the 70 year old lady makes it, but judging by that explosion, my amateur <laughs> bomb knowledge, I'm like, oof. It depends where she was in the house, but it doesn't look like a survivable kind of blast. What's the PCSO going to say to the homeowner? What's she going to say? It's, uh, cordons are great. Like, I'm here behind the, the cordon bleu, literally the cordon bleu. But uh, the full transparency is important. And uh, they go a bit, you know, health and safety. They always go way over the top of the cordons. <laughs> but anyway. This is the cordon that I, uh, I disregarded. Because uh, clever people will see that this is a, red, a cordon red, not a cordon bleu. But the good news, ladies and gents, I got all the shots from up there that we were looking for. If you look in the very distance, you can see the fire engine headquarters, mobile headquarters they're bringing. It's all feeling a bit Coronation-y street around here, though. So we're coming back to the main media circus bit. Oh, yeah. See ya. And, uh... <coughs> I'm recovering from a cold. So I'm a bit phlegmy. I got a bit of Qatar. They're still, still having a good look at it. Well, I'm gonna read you guys out a little bit of uh, information. There you go, there's the money, sh well no, we got the money shot directly in front of it, but there's the cherry picker with the uh, fire hose. 
Keeper in the back of the fire engine. There you go, high pressure, low pressure, temperature, 12 degree water, that's pretty much about right. 2,100 RPM. Interesting. But anyway, let's do, th let's do this all in one. Wait a minute, there we go, there we go. Right, so, they've released a statement. Berry Football Club offered brew and a place to stay for the people affected. They've had to evacuate the whole street there. Councillor Tariq Tamur, Tamur Tariq, the councillor, said the house involved has been destroyed. Yeah, he's right. And properties either side badly damaged too. Well, we've seen that for ourselves. Yeah, he's absolutely right. The local school, St. Luke's Church of England Primary School, they've taken the decision to close. Uh, I think they're about 400 yards away, 400 meters away. Um, the fire has affected electricity and gas going into school. Parents have been informed, um, but they've uh, shut it all down. But no, no news yet. The latest news from the hospital, the lady's injured with very, very serious injuries. And um, I hope she makes it. I really do. But this is all... Uh, I want to get you a shot of the house on fire. Wait. If we can. And then I'll let you all go, because we're, uh, we're almost done here. No, it's uh, with one hand on a Huawei. I'm not going to do it, but... For your elderly relatives, maybe get them to use an induction hob instead of a gas cooker. That might be a good solution. And... Uh, yeah, you don't want your granny turning her house into Putin's latest thermobaric weapon. But anyway, condolences to anyone affected. And I hope the 70-year-old makes it. This is Charlie Beach from Nelson Street in Bury. Okay, welcome to Manchester. We're at Shude Hill bus station. A suitably concretey look at the massive solar panel building, the blue one. Do they work anymore? No. But it's a nice, nice virtue signal. Uh-huh. <laughs> go on, hit him again, go on, that's it, oh! <laughs> Spiky pavements to stop blind people walking into a tram, playing chicken with a tram, not a good idea. Oh! And before the tram comes in front of me, here's some more cigarette butt police. Checking out people who might drop a cigarette, but 150 pounds. We'll cut it when the tram cuts it. Cut! Ah, I thought he was going to play chicken with a tram, but uh, no, he's just circum, circum, circumnavigating. Oh, cigarette butt police have got one. Uh, do, you, do you need any free legal advice? Uh, no, I don't know. You, you know, because you know that you can appeal it and. Also, where did you drop it? Did you drop it here? It was on the side there. Oh, that might still be private property that owns owned by Shude Hill Interchange. It might not be a public thing, so you may not have littered publicly. Look into it. Well, okay. Good luck. Okay, cheers, Nick. No problem. <sighs> when people refuse free legal help, they're just like, so ashamed. Here we go. Let's have a look at the corporate graffiti. How's it doing? How is it doing? That's not real graffiti! That's corporate graffiti! How much are they paying you to do that? That's not graffiti, that's advertising! Can I give you something right now? Go on, wait, wait one last one. Asahi, at least it's a good Japanese beer. At least it's good. Go on, tell me what you got. Right, put that film on me. Go on, all right, here we go, we got an interview. When you walk through a storm Hold your head up high And never be afraid of the dark Hold on, hold on Cause you will never be alone Now tell me where's that Liverpool. song from? Oh, mate, my favourite city in the... Are you a Scouser? A real one? No. Oh, you, you support Liverpool? No, I'm from, I'm born in Liverpool. I was All right. raised in Liverpool. So yeah, that makes me... You're a Scouser, Scouser, but when's the last time you committed the crime? 
You don't have to answer that if it's recent. Why are you asking that? Because it's a scouser joke, you know, the reputation. About fucking 10 minutes ago. Good man, at least he's honest. Anyway, look at that. Do you know why? Go on. For being too fucking sexy, that's why. Hey, he is far too sexy for that shirt, or for that voice. That is an Edinburgh accent, if I've ever heard of it. Correct, it is an Edinburgh is, yes, accent. I very good, know. yeah. Very well a lot of people mistake me for American, but you've, right. you've got the... the right, um... Come in, let me turn this on you. Go on, then. But don't run away with it, oh, and don't off. drop it. Right, so, come on, what are you saying? I say, uh, you'll never walk alone, I'm a scouser, I've had my back sack and crack waxed, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, um... Film people outside the Liverpool Crown Court, Civil Court, they always chase me away. I like the ferry across the Mersey, mate. What's your, what's your name? So Charlie Veach. Get... My name's Charlie Veach. Okay. I've got 12 subscribers on well, YouTube. Let me just get you in this whole like, shot here with that, with that in the back of it. So what do you think about what do you think about Man City and that fucking awful graffiti thing, Charlie? I think what Charlie? was good about Man City was their manager not called Man City as well? Mancini. Mancini. Mancunti. That's the one. I think Man City are like a team that is similar to Man United, except they have baby blue instead of red. There's also a stadium called Old Trafford where they play ice hockey. There's like a team called Salford Devils. They play ice hockey at Old Trafford. They also play table tennis. Table tennis. Oh, ping pong, a bit of ping pong. Forrest Gump was good at that. Now, to test your skills, if you could film those two and... Turn the zoom. You see how it's got the thing on the camera? Don't drop it. But uh, turn this one whilst you're filming and get, get the way, wait, wait, wait. There you go. I use that one. See? 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh, my man. Thanks, mate. Have a great day. <laughs> Look at that. He's still recording. <laughs> hey, tell me. It says in the window here. Sisyphus is happy, and you can see an outline of a blue guy smiling, carrying his rock up a hill. You know the myth of Sisyphus? Sisyphus, if you want to anglicize it. He uh, was condemned to forever push his uh, rock up a hill. And now it's part of a... Hello, hello! I'm currently doing a YouTube video. I, I'm a big fan of philosophy and Albert Camus and the myth of Sisyphus. Amazing! So, like it? can I come in? Is that alright? Yeah, yeah. I'm currently recording now, is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's Thank fine. you, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So if you could please tell me super quickly what this is and how have I never seen it and what's going on? So you won't have seen it because it's brand new. Go on. Um, it's um, a place called All Together Otherwise. We operate as a hobby house. Cool. A place where there's lots of clubs and yeah. things happening. This is going to be a little shop, but we've got lots of Sisyphus related ah. um, objects. We, yeah. There's a little bit of a Sisyphus theme going on. Yeah. Um, a bit of a, Sisyphus has become a bit of a mascot for this project. It They're is. Quite, got, there he is on a jacket. Yeah. Is it, um, the, sorry to jump in, um, just trying to remember from doing philosophy at university 25 years ago, the, is the first line of the book, the only philosophical question is whether to kill yourself or not? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah I remember. Yeah. <laughs> well, viewers, to my viewers, please don't contemplate that too long, you'll just one, get depressed. One of the last lines is, um, we must imagine Sisyphus happy. And it's, I think, um, I like, uh, you know, we're bastardising the Camus, I think, really. But really what we're um, talking about is the pointless endeavours are kind of what makes makes up our life and um, spending a lot of time yeah um, yeah well yeah you know what now that they won the Nobel Prize last year proving that the universe is non-local it may go on forever it, 3D reality might just be an illusion of an idealist mind so I, I agree like uh, pick up your goddamn rock carry it put a smile on your face and stop complaining yeah exactly so that's, that's kind of the philosophy that's our philosophy so what, what, what kind of people do you want in here what can they do so what can they we've got um, a radical reading group and a spinning group people spinning oh group. where did I see the yarn I saw yarn somewhere oh, oh there it is yeah yeah but this uh, tonight is wild yarn so far, uh, sorry wild, wild wool far, yeah uh, wool from farms from across the north of I the see being sorted and then turned into wool very good and what was your name I'm Ben Ben thank you so much for that no worries 
Okay, so uh, you may have seen the last video and the, whoa, 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 look at that! Iridescent peacocky bloody Mercedes over there, whoa! What a strange looking machine. Oh, she's hot. Um, you may have seen the archeological dig. Well, they've had enough. My friend who's a viewer as well, a viewer. He's, a, he's a doing the digger. Uh, let me just tell the firemen to shut up for it. Can you keep it down, please, guys? I'm trying to do a video here. Anyway, the archaeological site, they've decided it wasn't that impressive. I asked the archaeologist lady, when was it from? She goes, 1850. Clearly not old enough. Oh, there she is, actually, down there. What have you done? What have you done? It's all gone! <laughs> Take care, see ya. <laughs> anyway, she said 1850. So I don't think they're that impressed with it. Americans would be because that's like half of their history, but... <laughs> Just, uh... We're near... Where are we near? Ancoats, Northern Quarter. Oh, that moment when the travelers... They move into the BNM Bargains car park. Why not? And who's going to tell them off? Nobody. Nobody has any integrity anymore, but... Look at them there with their butane propane gas canister. Hank. Bags left out to ruin. And yeah, I got the rubbish out and uh, you know, no council tax, why not? Gorgeous. Doing a, dr a drive-by content hunt. Um, we're in Swinton and uh, there's another bike down there. There's something going on. Where have you hidden the suspect? Where is he? Oh, they've gone. They've gone? Yeah. They didn't slip through your fingers, did they? <laughs> Cheers, mate, all the best. 